We're catching a cab in the Big Apple on our way to find out why New York City should have been called the Big Pickle. Welcome to Taste of America. I'm Mark DiCarlo. I'm here on the Lower East Side of New York. They call it the melting pot, but after all these years, it's, it's pretty well cooked. And we are here outside the Pickle Guys. Why? Because if you're going to get a pickle anywhere in New York City, you come to Pickle Central. Let's meet them. Nowadays, you really have to be on the inside track to find a good kosher dill. But things weren't always this way. I'm told that back in the day, here on the Lower East Side, Jewish stores sold everything, from challah to hats, and that pushcart pickle vendors would practically run you over. But in the past few decades, new immigrants have moved in and now the area is almost pickleless. Unless, of course, you know the right guy. Alan Kaufman, known to locals as the Pickle Man, is valiantly carrying on the kosher dill tradition in a big way. Pickle guys! Hey, what's going on, everybody? How, how are you? Hey. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. This is a pickle store. That's People right. People come here just to buy pickles. Just to buy what pickles. What if I want to buy roast beef? I gotta go. You gotta go someplace else. That and shoes. These are all natural, no chemicals. Okay. Uh, they're cold cured, mm -hmm. cold packed. Yeah. And that's how we make the pickles, just like the old days. Well, I would like to, uh, well, I'll talk to you about the old days, and I want to see the pickling process. Oh, I'd love to show you. You're the pickle guy. Show me the pickle. Alan, the pickle man, has seven different varieties of pickle, as well as pickled mushrooms, olives, tomatoes, and pickled peppers by the peck. And they're all pickled with pride right here in the shop. How does it start? Now, pickles are cucumbers, right? Pickles, we start off as cucumbers. Now, is a pickle a vegetable or a fruit? Pickle is a fruit. This is like how a bill becomes a law. This is how a cucumber becomes a pickle. <laughs> all right, what do, you, what do we start with? Brine. Brine. Brine? Brine. All right. Brine is salt water. That's what we use to make Why pickles. Just get it out of the ocean. Uh, we like to have something a little more purified and clean. We call it, in the profession, a scoop. A scoop. A scoop. A pickle scoop. A scoop. And we add salt Brine. to the water. And we stir the brine. It's almost like if I could get in there, it would look like it'd be a very comfortable whirlpool. A jacuzzi. <laughs> it's a jacuzzi for the pickles. What makes a pickle a kosher pickle? Yeah, I saw the sign, the rabbi comes in here. How does that work? What's his name? Rabbi Shmuel Fischelis. Right. Shmuel Fischelis. You know what? I had a little Shmuel Fischelis, but I'm feeling <laughs> a lot better now. All right. Uh, usually, it's the ingredients we use. Uh-huh. The salt is kosher. Okay. And if you use kosher ingredients, it's got to come out kosher. All right. You know, not like when you're trying to fix a ticket with a cop. That's not kosher. In New York, please, please. <laughs> So, all the ingredients, salt, water, spices, and cubes must be given a special rabbi's seal of approval or it ain't kosher. I, I went to Catholic school for 12 years. If I touch the pickle thing, does that screw up the kosherness? No, but if I threw a pork chop in there, it would be a big problem. <laughs> yeah. Now we take our pickling spices. That's it? That's it. Uh-huh. Now they're pickles. <laughs> Now they're pickles. As soon as the salt, Do it again. as soon as the brine touches the cucumbers, yeah, they're pickles. They're considered crappy pickles, but pickles, right? Right. The longer they sit in the brine, yes. will they determine what kind of pickles they're going to be. Anything from one to ten days, we consider a new pickle. If we're making a full sour pickle, it takes at least three months to make. No. Yes. You don't sing to it. You don't talk to it like no, people do I, with plants. I do like my family does. Like put me in the back and ignore me. <laughs> So, the perfect kosher dill is crunchy, sour, and fresh. And this place is a proud purveyor of all things pickled. Wow, I'm good. This is what a new pickle is. This is like what we just made just before. It tastes like a salty cucumber. Right. It doesn't taste pickly at all. Right, that's a new pickle. I don't like the new pickle. Well, that's why we have seven different varieties. Right. This is a three-quarter sour pickle. Right. And this has been pickled for at least a month. Now it's starting to taste pickly. But now we're see, getting into pickle town. You see how the colors are changing? You ever been to pickle town? USA? Yeah. That's right near Funky Town. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to try my hand at selling some pickles. The first thing to remember is that the pickle guys aim to please, no matter how much sugar in the request. Sir, can I help you? What do you need? I want a, a full container of sour sauerkraut juice. Just the juice, not the sauerkraut. What do you use the juice for, sir? I mix it with tomato juice, and it makes a tomato juice, sauerkraut juice cocktail. Mmm, sauerkraut juice. Sounds delicious. This, I gotta try. So this will be a new experience for me, oh. a new experience for you. We're gonna do a shot of sauerkraut juice. Skull. Cheers. Cheers. Makes you pucker up, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this is so salty! Charles, how can you drink it? No, no experience. Hey, they don't know. Oh, Charles can keep his juice. I'll take the pickles. Alan, thank you very much. That was very fun. It was a pleasure. I only wish I could do more with the pickles. Well, listen, I got a delivery to make. You want to come with? He's a natural, isn't he? Yeah, let's go do that. The pickle guys ship their cukes across the country, across town, and they personally deliver them to the Jewish deli across the street. There you go. Hey, we're getting with the counter. How are you? Sour? That's new. You know what? Pickles. It's all pickles. How about a knish? Huh? How about a knish for a tip? Sure. Huh? Can I get a bacon and cheese knish? Bacon and cheese? Sure. It would have to be vegetarian, you know. Rabbi's doing his job good here. I was checking. Uh, I want the fresh half. I'd like a side of meché and a little schnavatz. Schnavatz? A little schnavatz. <laughs> let, me, let me teach you how to speak Yiddish. It's all about the face. It's kugel. That's different than kugel. <laughs> That's like a little... Right, it's right. like a... Kugel. Thank you very much. Thank you for the connection. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take it easy, Rick. All right. Oh, I'm getting bored. This, this Ica manga business is very difficult. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. Pickles! Who needs pickles? You know, Pickle? Yes, sir. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I love you. 